Hi all, today we will talk about the WWDC Apple event that happened last Monday. Most of the features presented at this year's WWDC are really cool and are huge steps forward for Apple and for all the products we love and use as developers. And by that I don't mean iOS developers for whom 90% of the features presented at this year's WWDC are important, but for us developers who use Apple products for coding, learning and productivity. As you know, on this channel I film a series of videos in which I go through developing a complex web application only using the iPad. That's why I will start with iPad OS 16. As a developer, especially one that codes on the iPad a lot, the upgrades to iPad OS are making the iPad even more of a device that can be used exclusively. What are these changes? First of all, we will talk about Stage Manager. Even though it will only come for the M1 iPads, which by the way, I don't have that one, I have the previous version, this will help a lot with staying organized and focused whilst having a lot of windows opened. When I code on the iPad Pro, I have a lot of apps opened. I have Blink Code for Code Server, I have my own database client, my REST client, a browser and many others. Stage Manager is super useful for creating workspaces and easily switch between them. The second most important feature is the external display support. When coding on the road, in case you want to go and work in a co-working space or hub, now you can use an external monitor and connect it to the iPad. New display modes is a very useful feature for us who are coding on the iPad. We can choose the right resolution based on the IDE we are using and make the best out of it. One of the coolest features iPadOS 16 comes with is the live text for video. This will allow us to select text from a video which is an amazing feature. Imagine you are watching my coding tutorials and videos for coding on the iPad, then pausing and select the code snippet and drop it into your IDE. That is a super helpful feature and makes the iPad even more of a cooler device to code on. And last for iPadOS we will talk about Freeform. Freeform is a super cool app which in my opinion will decommission all other apps in this category, especially the ones that are not free. For us coders this is an amazing app as it will allow us to create scrum boards and share with people we collaborate with. We can also create brainstorm sessions, sketches and everything that has to do with project creation and planning. The second topic that I want to discuss about is the M2 chip. The M2 chip sits in between the M1 chip and the M1 Pro, M1 Pro Max and M1 Ultra. With this and with the new redesign of the MacBook Air, you get a beast of a machine at an affordable price. So if you're a student and want a super reliable and super powerful machine, MacBook Air is actually for you. With a chip like the M2, you can go from coding to video editing all in a super compact laptop. Of course, you can also opt for the iPad Pro, especially now with the iPad OS 16, even though you are a student that codes a lot, because now, as I said, we can do so much more with the iPad Pro. But if you want to have more than just a tablet, the MacBook Air is the one for you now with the M2 chip. This is a short video that I decided to film because there were a lot of features brought up at this year's uh, WWDC. All of them cool features and like I said, important for iOS developers, but there are quite some important for us developers who are not coding necessarily for iOS. I think that the main direction at this moment with the iPad is very interesting because they want to make the iPad somewhere in between a tablet and a laptop and I think that if you like to do a lot of project planning, project architecture and also code on a compact device, I think the iPad Pro now it will be a really cool device to have. Also, if I missed certain features that you think are very important for developers, please let me know in the comments below. I hope that you enjoyed this unusual type of video for our channel. I hope that I filtered all the information from WWDC into a short package for us developers. Also please like the video, subscribe to the channel because soon I will release another episode of the coding on the iPad Pro. Press the bell button to receive notifications 
and I'll see you in the next one.